All right, so today we're going to be showing you how to find the UR on a router. What you'll need for this is a laptop, a router, a corresponding power cable for the router, one of these cheap little um, serial to USB type devices. This is the uh, FT232 and a mini USB cable. Um, a multimeter would be very helpful uh, for this as well. So let's grab one of these, swap out this pro real quick. All right. For this, I'm gonna be using a Fluke 115 um, soldering station. This is just a digital radio shack, whatever. Um, it's not really important. What is going to be important though is popping open the router. So um, it looks like we have some safety pins here. Um, do we have anything in my kit that'll fit that? All right, that looks like it's gonna fit. So this is gonna be a T8 bit, T8 safety bit, at least for this particular router, I think. Yep, perfect. You can also just shout a fly head screwdriver in there. That's nice when you have the right tools. So whatever. And this will also void your warranty, like I just did. Not that this thing actually had a warranty to begin with, but you know. Um, all right, now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna just kinda pry this thing open. All right, just like that. We're gonna look around here. And a few things, you're gonna wanna look for some desoldered uh, pins so like this or like this um look for the one that's closest to these two to you know to the uh main ic's and stuff um which in our case looks like it's going to be this one and my secret method of telling the rx and the tx from the rest is if you look really closely here in the traces you can see these two traces go right to this pin and this pin and uh, willing to bet that these would be RX and TX right here. We can test that though. And we can even find VCC. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. First thing we're gonna need to do is plug in our power supply and plug in a router. Let's just, just kind of float around here. All right. Now, you want to go to set to uh, DC voltage. All right, there you go. So we can look at all the pixies here. Um, so we're gonna to want to put the black probe or the negative lead on something that we know for sure is ground. So in our case, I'm just gonna put it on this shield right here. And then we're just gonna start probing our way around here. Hopefully you guys can see. All right. And we got about three, 3.3 3 volts there. So that tells us this is VCC. And this right here is about three volts, three, two and a half. So this is probably TX and this is probably RX. However, it doesn't really matter. Most of the time I just flip them anyways and just hope for the best. So, um, oh, we're also going to need to look for ground. Um, my guess is it's going to be float to continuity. And right here, maybe. No. All right, there's our ground right there. So we have ground, uh, TX, and RX. So all we need is a little, some wires here. Um, I 
Looks like our wire cutters have went out missing. There we are. All right, so we're gonna cut some decent sized wires here. I'll make sure we can unplug this first, so. So we're going to go ahead and solder the side. Let's put some flux on there. We're going to do our ground pin first. Squeeze out some flux here. And one on these two as well. So. Okay. Got some solder. Just add some solder to this. go go ahead and solder our ground wire in here let's just get it nice and line that up here okay first you need a few wires here a few more of these Here's TX. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and start soldering these to the board here. Um, we're just gonna look here and we're gonna see this side is TX, so we'll just go ahead and put some solder on this pin because just to make it easier for you guys to see this. So I don't have to keep flipping it upside down all the time. Makes a bit more sense. Alright, um, so we said this was TX. Okay, super steady hands, I know. at this angle so we're gonna all right there's that yeah it doesn't have to be perfect because I mean I'm just doing this temporarily if I want to make this permanent, I would do like pin headers and crap and all of that. However, this is just a demo and I don't really have any of those nice jumper wires. So that's why I'm doing all this by hand. Here's RX. Yep, I saw that coming. Okay. 
All right, we got all that done. Now what's left is to plug our board into the USB port on our computer here. And yours probably won't be as colorful as mine because I made some fancy lights. And those lights just tell us that we are in the right tr on the right track. Um, at least we have RX and TX properly pinned out. There's a command you want to use. That'll be in the description. Um, now, this right here will vary. the run this command right here, which will also be in the description. You can look for this and you'll find that. So I'm just going to copy this and basically paste it into the command here. All right. And uh, there we go. Now we have a little shell right here and it'll look like this. It doesn't show anything yet. Um, but as soon as we plug this in, so we're going to connect power to our board here. See this here? And there we go. We have successfully found it. So, yeah, uh, we're getting some weird characters. That's probably due to the either the router or the jank wiring or the baud rate that I'm at. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you find you are. And I uh, hope you guys found this somewhat useful.